everyone, welcome back to Lunch and Learn, where we literally, or almost literally, devour the Word of God. So, today we're going to be studying a new scripture. Um, it will be Ezekiel chapter 47. So, Old Testament prophet Ezekiel chapter 47, beginning in verse 1. Before we start, let's take a moment to pray. Lord, we want to thank you for this day. We thank you for your goodness and your mercy. We ask, Lord God, that you would open the ears of our understanding and let your word be planted deeply within our heart to bring forth fruit unto salvation. In Jesus' name. So Ezekiel chapter 47, verse 1. The man brought me to the entrance of the temple, and I saw water coming out from under the threshold of the temple toward the east, for the temple faced east. The water was coming down from under the south side of the temple south of the altar then he brought me out through the north gate and led me around the outside to the outer gate facing east and the water was trickling from the south side as the man went eastward with a measuring line in his hand he measured off a thousand cubits and he led me through the water that was ankle deep he measured off another thousand cubit and led me through water that was knee deep he measured off another thousand cubit and led me through water that was up to the waist. He measured off another thousand, but now it was a river that I could not cross because the water had risen and was deep enough to swim in, a river that no one could cross. He asked me, son of man, do you see this? Why is it when I'm trying to film a million different things are happening? My apologies. Oh, uh, water, okay. Water, a river that no one could cross. He asked me, son of man, do you see this? Then he led me back to the bank of the river. Amen. So that was Ezekiel 47, verse 1 to 6. So in this uh, portion of scripture, we see that Ezekiel is with a man, whether it is a an angel figure, we're not sure at this moment. Um, but he is with this man and they are at the temple. And as they are walking around the temple we see that there's water coming from the temple like a little trickling almost like a leak let's just say coming from the altar in the temple altars are very significant they're places of prayer places of sacrifice so coming from this altar there's this trickling stream of water as Ezekiel leaves the temple door and walks around the temple all of a sudden this trickling stream becomes ankle deep water then knee deep water then waist deep water and this person who's with him says son of man do you see this so whenever we see a sentence like this um, those who have ears to hear let them hear do you see this what do you see it means stop and consider so we're stopping we will stop and consider what this means so we see first of all there's water water can be indicative of anointing salvation uh, in the New Testament Jesus spoke of rivers of living water are coming from it's coming from in the temple and more precisely the altar altar is prayer like we said sacrifice the water came from inside the temple and now he's outside the temple where the water is rising exponentially so it is multiplying by the thousandfold and we know that in the old testament the temple was where um, the israelites went to worship where the presence of the lord was said to dwell as we offer these prayers and these sacrifices it develops a stream there's a stream of water even a little trickling of water do not be dismayed by the little trickling of water because when you get outside of the temple where the rest of the population of the children of Israel were because remember only the priest went to minister in the temple so outside where everyone else is the stream gets exponentially deeper and deeper there is more water coming from this small little trickle where you or I or that person was that priest was offering prayers sacrifices of praise all these things that little trickle became a huge river this is how the spirit of the lord works that when you and i will offer our sacrifices to the lord when we will offer up our prayer and our petitions to god especially on the behalf of the salvation of others there is a trickle of water a trickle of answers a trickle of miracles a trickle of blessing that starts to flow from that altar from that place where we were pouring ourselves out it starts to come out of that altar 
and it starts to come out into our communities, into our workplaces, into our homes, into our families. And before we know it, what little trickle we may have caused through our prayers and our sacrifice, the Lord increases by the thousand and the thousand and the thousand fold. And all of a sudden, this river, this, this, this trickle of water, let me say, this stream has become a river. In the beginning of this chapter as we study, this river was started by a stream. And that stream came from the altar where you were. So whatever you're doing, whatever you are putting on that altar, whatever you are sacrificing, whatever you are praying for, whatever incense you are burning, whatever prayers you are burning to the Lord, know that they are having an effect. Even if you look down to the side of that altar and all you see is a trickle, do not be dismayed. Before you know it, that trickle is going to multiply and turn into a river. Amen. I pray that this word has been an encouragement to you. If it has, please consider subscribing. If you like today's message, please like it by putting a thumbs up, share it with friends, family. It's all free. And remember, no matter what, you are too blessed to be stressed. Take care and God bless you.